24th, not March 23rd. We're in Tokyo. Luke, tell us about the plane flight over. This is our first day of our trip. All right. Uh, we had a direct plane flight from Detroit to Tokyo, and it was 13 hours. And didn't get much much sleep, but I guess it was all right. But they had rotten food. They had three movies. And then it was 13 hours, and then we spent an hour waiting to get a train. It was more than that, because we didn't get to this hotel till. Don't you take a picture of me, Paul. Okay. <laughs> and then we spent an hour in the train, and we spent probably mm. half an hour getting to, going to the subway. You realize we got to this hotel about 8.30, and we got in at 3.30, we spent five hours. No, we didn't. We got in at 4.30. Yeah. Oh, we spent four hours. Or, or it was actually five before so we got off the hours, plane. That would probably be like one hour until we got our train, an hour to get here in we the train. We got six forty train. Half an hour, and then half an hour. That only makes three hours. <laughs> then uh, we're staying at what hotel? The Gajoan Ginka. Gajoan Kanko. 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 Yeah, ho hold it up so I can see. I can hardly see it, but uh, okay. Then where where do we eat last night, Luke? We ate at some dive down down a little tiny alleyway, and it was it was awesome. It was what? It was good. I said awful. I said awesome. It was a yakitori. A yakitori. But well, was it really? I'm not sure we found the yakitori. Yeah, I think it was. I think well, it's the right one. Yeah, yeah. why not have been? This is our breakfast on uh, the 24th. <laughs> Thank you very much. They're still in the Meiji Shrine. Still the Meiji Shrine. This is a Shinto wedding.
these are the wishes at the Meiji Shrine. Do you have any desire to look at the Meiji Jingu Garden? I figure you probably do. This is the Emperor's Tea House. What? These are the carp off of uh, the Emperor's fishing dock. <laughs> He's offering you a rock garden to try bring some pebbles. They try to eat them to the bottom. Well, not if they catch on their mouths first. Chuck a rock in. Look at the size of them. I'm telling you, they're eating those pebbles. Clearly, people feed them here, you know. There's a. I'm gonna try to pet one of them. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but it's overlooking the iris garden, which is right now. Here the fish are eating wood chips. Polo is the name for quality shirts. Polo feel and fit like a second skin. Wash in two warm water with natural soap and do not wing. Polo country. Polo pony, is it? Junk food, 1951. McDonald's menu. This is the restaurant where we had lunch, the chef during the meal.
Some pigeons. Real pigeons. Real pigeons. And uh, this is our area in Tokyo. Here's the street, and uh, down there's the subway station. Back here. There was a symphony orchestra, a western. Would you like me to demonstrate how you use chopsticks, Paul? Just ignore it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pot sticker, otherwise known as a Yoda. You're losing it. What? Yoda, is it? it? You're losing it. Oh, I know. This, chops, this chopstick is holding a pot sticker, and I have to demonstrate the excellent skill of chopstick use, which I have mastered on my trips to the Orient. My son Ben has also mastered chopstick use, and I've to such an extent that he eats plank steak now with Yoda. I don't want Yes.
We are still in Poklo. Tell me if this looks better. This is on 100 shutter speed. Here are new trees being planted. Here we are at uh, the Imperial Bridge. Here's our family preparing to take their picture in accordance with Japanese tradition. This is Kabuki Theater. market.
Octopuses or octopi. That guy's way. Who's getting pictures of what? In black and white. No, no, no. he's getting pictures of color.
know, it doesn't look like the usual stuff at all. So Matthew? This is Kelp. Kelp. Tell where you are. I am in uh Sujiki. Sujiki. Sujiki uh fish market. And this is a package of kelp. Well, we're in Tokyo now. What? We're in Tokyo now. This is our first day of the trip. Right. Follow the stone paved path which winds through Buddhist tombstones and past a garish orange love hotel. The Russian cemetery is a very much like this, but each little plot is walled off a little more. It was found, this is the Tenoji Temple, founded in the 14th century on the route that 13th century Buddhist firebrand Nichiren used to take on his way to and from Kamakura. I thought I'd go look at this. I don't know. It's a gutter, look at this. And so the warm is going to take your shoes off. I said I go to yours, it's not a good idea. You probably do. Yeah. Should I take my shoes off? It's an old one, I guess. in the gate were caused by the violence in 1868 when Shogitai, or followers of the Shogun, took refuge in the temple. Dai NG Temple. The inside of the temple. This is a Buddhist temple.
Here's a large but extremely covered up Buddha. How do we know it's Buddha? Because his hand. Very old, but it's nice. Inside of a Buddhist temple. And now, first in our series of creative photographic shots. Our first contestant is Matt Gerke with the run called, entitled, The Orange Torres. Tuso Temple or something like that. Here we are at the uh, Ginkakuji Silver Pagoda. There's my father there. This is sand. That was Mount Fuji, and this is the Silver Sea of Sand. Fifty feet high, huh? You don't mind. It's uh, <laughs> It's not tomorrow. It's light, isn't it? Quite now. Close about tomorrow. This is the silver pagoda, which was supposed to be plated in silver. As you can see, it was all a big hoax. Here we are 
are intruding on the gate's privacy. She's trying to cross the street in peace, but we won't let her. Matthew and I are out wandering by ourselves. Everybody else has gone in. We're in Kyoto. This is a Buddhist shrine, obviously. This is a delicious sample of um, plastic food they have in the windows. This is a view uh, from our room in Kyoto. Oh, I'm going to call on this phone. Okay. okay. Oh, amazing. See, we just had one coming in from the left. This goes straight down. Oh, man. This is the view of Kyoto from Kiyomizodero Temple. Well, that's pretty neat, I miss it. You see it looks just painted. You don't like that? See how I like no. that? No. I go for it. Give me gaudy. Where's we've lost a kid? Stones at uh, what's the name of this place? If he goes, if he goes directly to the other stone, his love will be realized with his eyes closed. As a matter of fact, he will marry that Japanese girl he just got crashed into. He did it. His love will be.
This is the gate of Nijo Jo. The guard house of Nijo Jo. If you hear the squeaks, those are uh, the squeaks of the nightingale floor. Those which, are clever. Which is currently on the screen. Fortifications of the inner keep. Okay. The moat from above on the battlements. This is a Shinto shrine that Katie and I came upon early in the morning on a walk. I'm now taking the boys to show it to them. Dad, you've got it in slow speed. Photography number two, around and around, orange shrine. Totally, this is the view from our room on Friday. <laughs> Different from Thursday. Whoop, 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 whoop. What? You don't see your phone. This is the view from our room to the toilet, instructing people who are not very accustomed to the intricacies of Western style toilets. <laughs> the English the Japanese attempt to speak is rather inexplicable. Here's a good example. This is on our breakfast roll in the morning. Let's make ready it in your basket. Yamazaki's table roll presents you with a kind consideration in the morning and afternoon or the dinner at home.
This is the panorama of Ryonji Temple. The precinct has an area of about something acres, including many mountains. Something Pond is famous, one with Osawanoiki and Daikanjuki Temple from the Heian Age. Two Ponds also was famous, for many Mandarin duck existed till the end of the Meiji Age. The Rock garden is made of only 15 rocks and white gravel. They express spiritual enlightenment of Zen and tell us infinite teachings. Creative photography number three. Japanese character on orange tori. You don't like it your mind. Show your ticket. This is the rock garden of Rio Anji Temple. It is a Zen rock garden and differs from the other garden in that there are no trees and lots of gravel. There are 15 rocks in this garden, but you can only see 14 of them at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. God, that's deep. Just contemplate the ultimate reality. This is a pretty flower. Okay. Ready? I'm drinking Japanese coffee out of a vending machine. I don't expect too much here. It's sugar and, and milk, and I don't like that, but... It tastes like coffee? A little bit. <laughs> Almost, not but wonderful. not quite. I mean, to read it to you? Yeah. Butterfly. Original blend UCC coffee. The pioneer maker of the canned liquid coffee in Japan. Come on and enjoy its original Dad. taste. It's Dad. Dad. Here. Dad. We are now at Ginkokoji Temple, home of the Gold Pavilion. This is the Gold Pavilion. As you can see, the second two stories are covered with gold. Okay. Not much. Everything else is in shadow. I think that's the one for the white snake. Or is it just a mound? It's a mound. Creative photography number five. Orange haze. Oh, it Yin Yang and Yong. This is a bamboo break, which is, according to Ben, three days old. Ben asserts that bamboo can grow about 15 feet a day, and if you look up close to the top, I think you can see it growing. Yep, definitely. This is my family peering into the bamboo break. No, get down. Except for this That's not the thing he's copying. Hmm? He's not copying that. Sure he 
there he is. He's cutting the one that's down on the. Uh... Oh yeah. I thought you were talking about the black one. In the back. <laughs> This woman is exactly two-thirds Caucasian. This is Toji Temple, and somewhere on the premises is Japan's tallest five-story pagoda. Here it is. We are about to traverse the route of seeing. This is Grandma Me's meal being made. Wow. This is just wonderful. Oh, oh good. I need one of these. This is, uh, this is almost as good as in Japanese steakhouse. Oh, sir. It, these deer are unenclosed in the deer park. I'm used to having my picture taken. <laughs> Rub up 
This is Todai Ji, the Temple of the Great Buddha. And it contains the largest wooden structure in the world. Here it is, the Great Hall of the Great Buddha. Cherry trees are beginning to blossom. I want one. This Buddha is 58 feet tall. Would you like me to read you about this Buddha? Yeah. Yeah. You obviously didn't spot me. What? Yeah, I did. Spot me? Yeah. It is 53 feet. I built in 792. I said that it was 58 feet before, but mom lied. Mom told me that. Finished in 752. I can hear you. It's 53 feet tall. I like his hairstyle. This is the model of Todaiji Temple. There's the Great Hall where the Buddha is. I like these heads. <laughs> This is Binzuru, one of the disciples of Buddha, and he uh, helps to cure you if you rub this statue in the part that hurts, and then rub the same part on yourself, your ailment will go away. now it's Easter Sunday and we're about ready to leave for Kyoto and then Tokyo and then Kamakura this morning we went to Easter services at the Nara Episcopal Church which is a rather long ordeal so it was actually very nice it lasted two and a half hours however and then afterwards we went to uh, lunch at the Nara Episcopal Church. Lunch! Matthew, tell us what you thought of the lunch. Tell us what we had for. We had rice mixed with fish. You know, they're all mixed up with the rice. Cold rice. Okay, now you're here. 
squad. Cold sticky rice with some minnows. And uh, we have seaweed and lotus root and grungy mushroom. Town's name? Are you sure? Sumago. Sumago. No, I'm not sure. But I think it is. This is a beautiful garden, which Dad has entitled the whole thing, whole m m thing. This is the home of the Japanese lady. These are grasshoppers, available at your local pharmacy. Prepackaged Japanese meals. <laughs> Luke, you're supposed to use the spoons. I couldn't use those. This is my parents with a uh, group of people they picked up. All right, you can all move now. <laughs> Go! Bamboo, 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 bamboo. He's the king of bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. We climbed this. Mountain tall, so we could get to bamboo. Bamboo, 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 bamboo. I'm going to take a sprig of. Dad, do you like bamboo? Bamboo. Man, bamboo's strong. Dad, how strong is it? This is Smurf, astride the horse, which is not made of bamboo, but should be. These are the fish that were, uh, that were in the stuff that we ate at the Episcopal Church. Right? Yep. Dad, where are you going? Is this no smoke? No smoke? No smoke. While everyone else was sitting at home doing nothing, Luke and I decided on an exciting trip. And where are we now, Luke? We are in the exciting city of Obu. And as you can see, this city has a beautiful 
horizon with all those smokestacks. And I wish you could just record odor on videotape, but you can't. So just look at the. Here we'll, we'll, we'll just see some of this beautiful place where we. This is truly an outstanding place. Look at the golf course though. Where? What? Go ahead. Dad, can we please get these nice fish to eat on the train? Here. This is from our room in Nagoya. Mm-hmm. Japanese politicians running for office, we presume. This is the Hachimangu Shrine in Kamakura. Here we are inside the Buddha. That's his hair. B 
These are the windows in the Buddha's back. These are the caves in Hazadera. That's where the last couple of shots have been. <laughs> The last night in Japan. This is a tatami mat. I really like them. And they're very nice uh, and simple. breakfast our last day in Japan. The hot water has just been turned on. It's wonderful. It's part of this meal. Mom, open that up and let's see what's in there. No, no, this, this, this part. Seaweed flakes. Seaweed. Mm -hmm. Ham salad. Now, Luke, explain to me how you develop this hair. How you develop this hairstyle? I'm gonna erase that. Uh oh. Okay. She was sitting there, sort of playing. Yes, did. I wonder if I was. <laughs> Bye -bye. Dad? Yeah. 
Would you like to tell the camera what fantastic news you just heard? Duke won! Are you sure you're not too close? 912. What do you mean am I sure I'm not too close? Duke won the NCAA championship for the first time ever! <laughs> Are you happy, Dad? I am happy! <laughs> Good! How did you find out the news? On the Japan Times! That's excellent! Oh, oh! I'm so happy for you! Thank you! Why Thank do you think you. they won? Would you like to have some, uh, some comments about how the game went? They won! I don't know specifics. We will read it in the Japan Times! Good! Congratulations! <laughs> okay! Okay, let's go. In Japan, they're all over the place. These places that, uh, these little stands which sell Coke and even beer. These are strawberries for a bargain price of 580 yen. These are 380. These are oranges, four for 480 yen, which is about 350. This is in the background a uh, signal for you to cross the street. Okay, look what day is today. Um, the third of April. Uh, stay back in one position. I already had you focus. Okay, look what was your, uh, your favorite part of the trip. Um, the great Buddha. Which one? The, the first, big, the biggest Buddha in all of Japan. In what city? Kyoto. Wrong. Where was it? Where do you think? Nara. Nara. Okay. And um, you like that better than the other Buddha? Yeah. And uh, what were your, what was your next favorite part? Uh, probably the temple on stilts. Temple on stilts in? I can't, I don't remember what the name is. I mean, where was it? What city? Oh, that was in Kyoto. Yes. And um, on a scale of giving this an A, B, C, D, E, or F, what would you rate this trip? B. B. And what would, uh, as com like, what was our Egyptian trip? Uh, A minus. What was the Europe trip last summer? A minus. Mm -hmm. Have we ever had an A trip? Our first Europe trip. First Europe trip, yeah, that was. And how about the one you took with just mom? That was an A trip. Are you implying because I was not there that that was an A trip and that, and that the one I went on was the highest, a B? No, an A minus. You went on the. No, you went on the first Europe trip. That was an A minus. You gave it. I gave it an A. No, you gave an A minus. I think. Well, we'll see. Okay. Uh, what was the worst part of the trip? Um. Probably looking at the countryside and the bamboo. The bam. No, look. How could you say the bamboo was the worst part of the trip? That was the best part. Um, what was, um, so, um, any ways we should have changed the trip? No, I just don't think that it was a very, uh, exotic, well, I guess it was exotic, but not a, not a very exciting place to be. To be what? It's, there weren't many things that you could... Uh, that you knew about before you went there. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, the purpose of this is to uh, learn about things, right? So that doesn't matter, does it? Okay, any other words of wisdom? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay, Luke, your exit interview has been completed. Thank you. Okay, Ben, uh, where are you now? I'm at Narita Airport in Japan. Where, where, what city is Narita in? I don't know, probably Tokyo. It's a trick question, Narita is a city. Oh. 
You're wrong, Ben. You have to uh, pay for half this trip because you were wrong. Okay, uh, Ben, did you like this trip? Oh yes, I liked it quite a bit. Was it? Uh, you want to take your hat off, maybe? Okay. So, um, what was your favorite part? Well, my favorite part was the great part that I don't remember where, but it was 53 feet tall and it was really cool. So, uh, that was in Nara. Okay, that, yeah, that was Nara. And then my second favorite thing was the, uh, the second largest Buddha in Japan, which was like 37 feet tall. Kyoto. Kyoto and okay. Look. What was your least favorite thing? The day that um, you spent trying to find you because you went on on the wrong train, you ended up in some strange city. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, let's see here. You went out to get pop and. Um, and then you noticed that you didn't have enough time, so you just jumped on some train, which the conductor said your ticket was the correct train to go. And you ended up someplace you didn't know quite where it was, but then you called us up to Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station? Okay, Kyoto Station. And we found out that you were at Nagoya. Mm -hmm. So then we ended up going to Nagoya and spending the night there. Yeah. So, um, so did you like Sumago? Sumago? Yeah. What's that? That's the place we went that was uh, out in the mountains. In that village? Yes. That was cool. Yep. You, so you like Sumago? Yeah. It's totally loaded with junk stores and I'm a junk addict, so <laughs> I liked it there a lot. Yeah, you did. You are a junk addict. I will get... And um, what was your least favorite part of the trip? I already asked me oh that. yeah, I already asked you that. Any other least favorite parts? Not really. And so, what um, what did you think in general about Japan? Well, I thought it was going to be pretty much how it is. I didn't expect something really exotic like the rest of you guys did, but I liked it still anyway. You, 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 you didn't expect anything what? I didn't really expect much exotic stuff. Uh-huh. And, you know, this is pretty much what I expected. Uh-huh. Everybody else was a little disappointed, but, you know, I had to prepare myself for it because I didn't think it was going to be as good as everybody else. What was the, uh, your favorite place where we stayed? Um... I don't know the name of the hotel, but we stayed at it last night. The one in uh, yeah. Zushi? Yeah. It was uh, it was a real can, right? Yeah, some real can. You like that better than the Holiday Inn? Yeah, that yeah that was by far my favorite hotel. Yeah, I think that was all of our favorite hotel. It was uh, more like what you would anticipate Japan being like, right? Yep. And on a if you were grading this trip with an A, B, C, D, E, F, that type of grade, what would you give it? Um, B. And what would you, so getting back to our interview, um, what would you change about this trip? A lot less pollution because it's really polluted. But I mean, what could we do differently? What could we do differently? If you were going to Japan again, how would yeah, you do it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I would probably um, get reservations a lot earlier. Yeah, that is absolutely the, for sure. For sure. Anything else you would do differently? Um, I would recommend my father took the right train. Um, I would recommend that too. Um, then, on that note.
Okay. Um, no other words of wisdom? Mm, let me see. I guess that's about all. Yep. Thank you for subjecting yourself to this interview, Ben. Well, Dad, are you ready for your interview? I'm ready. Okay. How'd you like the trip? I liked it pretty well. It was not the best trip we've ever taken. Um, is that in focusing when you cover your, your finger there? Am I in focus? Yes, you are. Okay. Please. Oh, you mean covering this? Uh, yeah. No, this is the focus. Oh, okay. Um, so I thought it was um, not a bad trip, but not a great trip. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, okay. That was not a great trip, but it was a good trip. Go ahead. That's, that's my comment. Next question, please. Oh, all right. Um, what do you think about the food here? I like the food fairly well, although I, I like Chinese food better, and I think I like food better than anybody else. But, uh, Did you like the octopus entrails? Entrails? Yes. I didn't think I had any octopus entrails. I just had plain octopus. I like them. What did you think about the uh, little fish in the rice? You know, they really didn't have much of a taste. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they were okay. Uh huh. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. There is his nose. They were blown away. There's his whole face. Yeah, okay, go on. Okay, next question. Well, next question? Yeah. Alright. Um, hey, don't, don't do that. You gotta look through that as you, as you do it. Yeah, it's pointed at you. How do you feel about bamboo? I like bamboo. Tell us your feelings about it. Elaborate. Explain to us the mating cycle of the bamboo it's in the wild. It's a nice water. tree. I like it. It goes high in the air, and there, there are multiple bamboos together, which I think is very nice. Ah, uh, multiple bamboos together. Can you explain what philosophy this lends to us about Chinese society? I mean, Japanese society? Japanese. When one bamboo is, is by itself, it does not grow. But when multiple bamboos are together, they flourish. Yeah, that's brilliant. Have you ever heard the bamboo song? What? Have you ever heard the bamboo song? Yeah, yes, it's a wonderful song. Would you, would you uh, like to like to explain to the camera um, a little bit about your feelings about that song? It means a great deal to me, this song about this wondrous plant. All right, that's good. Um, how many pairs of pants did you bring on this trip? Great. You lie. I did. And I'm wearing this one, which is different. Does that include underwear? No. Are you sure? Because I've seen you wearing two pairs of pants. I of course, three. one was... You know, I wore, I've worn this one. I wore a tan pair of pants. I wore yeah, but that was only on Easter. Not. Oh my gosh, you do have a new pair of pants on. Hey, everybody, look. He hasn't worn these all trip. Do you wear these specifically for the no, flight home? I wore this on Easter, I think. Oh, you wore this on Easter? Yeah. I didn't. You wore the tan pants. You wore the tan pants, pants on Easter, Dad. And that was the only... Ben, support me here, buddy. What? When did you wear the tan pants? You wore them on Easter. When did you wear these pants? Today. Right. There we go, Dad. And how many pairs of underwear did you bring on this trip? I think about six. And how many escaped on their own? Escape on there, what does that mean? How many sprouted legs and walked away? Obviously. Zero. None of them. You must keep them well contained. All right. The interview. That's the end of the interview, Dad. Okay. That's Dad here who just had that interview. Here we're painting out. See you sitting in a wheelchair. Like that's when you change your socks. Okay, Matthew. All right, that's the end. Okay, now I'm gonna interview you. <laughs> Matthew, come on. Okay, Matthew, don't ban. Uh, what was your favorite part of the trip? 
Well, I like the uh, the big the great Buddhas. Which did you like best? Better. I don't know. It would be a tough call. I like both of them. And I like the uh, I liked the Tokyo <laughs> Fish Market. Oh yeah, you know I forgot about that. That was one of my favorite parts. Those are my favorite parts. Okay, what was your least favorite part? I don't know. My least favorite part was probably Ben. <laughs> what aspect of Ben was your least favorite part? I don't know. Probably the face. But I think I just dislike him all over. Okay. On um, a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give this trip? 10 I, being the best, one, 10 being the best, and, one, and 0 being the worst. I'd probably give it a, um, uh, an 8 or a 7. Uh huh. <laughs> Daddy, you have a problem with the camera there? <laughs> Matthew. Matthew, quit. Shaking I'm the not doing anything, Dad. <laughs> We're supposed to support it with two hands. That's right. <laughs> You're supposed to support it with two hands. Dad, don't, don't. No, don't, Dad. Dad, come on. Don't you have any... Come on, Matthew. You should be able to do this without shaking that kind of thing. Okay, now how did this trip uh, rate compared to some other trips we've taken? Thank you. All right. What were you saying? How did this trip rate to some other trips we've taken? Um. Uh, I, I liked it. I didn't like it quite as much. Bad, as the, you um, quit it. What? what? Quit shaking the my wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> you what, Dad? Quit shaking my wheelchair. Okay, Matthew. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts on how this trip could have been improved? Um. Well, <sighs> I would have enjoyed it more if. Uh, I don't know. Hey, Ben, quit messing around. I would have enjoyed it more if, um, let's see, uh, you can stop taping now while I think. Okay. Can you stop? Yeah. Can you rewind it before I said it? Okay. Um, well, to make this trip better, I think we could have, uh, eaten different foods. Like what? Like anything that didn't come out of a strange part of the fish. And, uh, we could have... So I think the food is, is definitely a, a bad part of the trip. Um, the weather uh, took away from the trip. Um, I think to make it better, we could have seen Mount Fuji. I, I thought that would have been to see Mount Fuji. We didn't even see it on the train because the weather was so bad. And uh, we might have come later on in the year so that the cherry blossoms would have been out and the birds would have been singing. And, you know, uh, there, there wouldn't have been so many earthquakes. <laughs> Back. What? Back. So you will be kicking me. I'm not kicking you. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. Um, mm, <laughs> what, Matthew? What? Quit kicking me. Dad, if you hold it with, hold it with two hands, you wouldn't have those, like, those, that jitter problem. <laughs> Okay. Just ask me the next question. Okay. Um, um, I guess that's about all. I, I seem to be very uh, tired. Not going to have a good question.